A flood floor from Zwart Systems is the ultimate in grower flexibility. Offering effective watering, cost savings, and allowing for a more efficient workflow, flood floors contribute where it counts, your bottom line. A flood floor is poured with heat tubing in the concrete, offering even heat to the crop with relatively low ambient temperatures. While ceiling heating can require temperatures over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, floors are heated with water at only 75 degrees Fahrenheit, making up for as much as 30% of your total heat load for the greenhouse. That's energy savings. Floors also offer an opportunity to save on labor. You cannot drive a forklift or roll carts on your benches, but you can go anywhere on a floor. No crop ships faster than one on a flood floor. Swart Systems offers flood floors in a couple different designs. A traditional floor is one that fills from the center of the greenhouse and drains back to the center of the greenhouse. A cascading floor is one that fills on one post row and drains to the opposing post row. In either a traditional or cascading system, you have a tank area where the recipe water is stored. When the system is turned on, the water is pumped from one of three recipe tanks into the fill pit and then it's pumped through pipes installed under the floor. After draining, the water returns to the tank area, is filtered, and returns to its original recipe tank. With a traditional floor, the greenhouse is shaped in a V formation, or sometimes in a W, depending on the width of the floor. Water is pumped into the center of the V, and the floor slowly fills. As the water fills from the center, it gradually fills up the floor to a depth of approximately 1.5 inches on the rubber or concrete barrier. Once the water has reached its peak, it's either held for a few moments or, depending on design, it's released right away. The water drains into the same pipe it came in with, but is diverted beneath the floor to a larger drain that brings it back into the holding tanks area. It's then pumped out over a filter and returned back to the tank from where it began. A cascading floor works on a trough principle. Instead of a V-shaped floor, the concrete is poured on a slight slope. This is not as easy as it sounds, and the degree of slope is the key to success. Water is pumped under the floor and enters on the high side of the floor along the post row. The water then runs across the floor, building only a one-quarter to one-half inch depth. This is enough water to make contact with the pot and for the soil mix to draw up the water through capillary action. This is ideal for four to eight inch pots with only a six minute watering time. It's also beneficial for larger pots. However, they may need to run for two irrigation cycles. There are many benefits to this style of floor. Very even watering based on the consistent water depth across the floor. The main fill line never sees unfiltered water the constant water moving across the floor cleans the floor with each cycle, unlike the bathtub effect left behind on traditional floors. The water is also very alive, as water is only on the floor for a short time and then returned. Flood floors offer amazing potential for savings and efficiency. Whether you choose a traditional floor or a cascading style, let Zwart Systems design your next project.